This time of year always reminds me of fond memories from Hanukkah's past. Playing dreidel while Grandpa peeled potatoes. Wish I'd known last year would also be his last. I guess that no one really feels like celebrating our first festival without Grandpa's latkes waiting. I called this family meeting because I'm advocating for my solution to the issue we've been debating. This year, I volunteer to make the latkes. Yeah, I said it, I mean from scratch. And if I burn them the first night, it's no big deal. I got seven more tries to make the perfect batch, so don't be nervous. This mensch is shifting into gear. I know you've had your doubts about my cooking career. We all recall the first year is that last year. Miss Monica Hero's here to make your tater troubles disappear. This year, things are gonna be different. Chef to fill the void. I got passion, drive, and a lot of free time. Did I mention I'm recently unemployed? Those hacks down at Klein's Kosher Deli. But it's me, I had a dream to fulfill. You take one new technique while preparing the film. So suddenly it's open season on your cooking skill. Now the FDA's involved, you're getting sued and have no job to pay the bill. But back to latkes, which are definitely not all I have or anything like that. Cast your mind back to that painful night with my boy Judah McAfee. When he lit the oil and that flame took flight, he gave us a sweet night so miracle for all to see. Did he lead a rebellion and drive out a bowl so we could buy potato pancakes from the frozen island Trader Joe's? Maybe with the canola oil. <laughs> By the way, thanks, boys. Look, I know change is scary. We all can agree. Jake said so is my brisket. <laughs> Good one. In the back of the eating his words with a taste of deep fried paradise for me. So we're clear, I'll make the latkes. I've got the recipe all planned. It's got flair and a dash of well seasoned panache. And most of the ingredients are banned, at least in Jersey. I full quarter. That store bought is fine, crap, Grandma. Okay, you think Ina cooks Jeffrey's roast chicken on a Costco rotisserie? Do you hear yourself right now? Go back to your man of Shevitz. I appreciate it, right? Now picture this. Ever since you were a kid, you know the festival of lights could be your culinary destiny. We don't bring it up. And by the way, who invited you this? Oh, this is your house. Oh, that's a beautiful house. I, love, I didn't recognize it because what you've done with the molding is beautiful. You garnish one cut of beef with an exotic berry. Sends the patriarch of your family to the mortuary. Look, nobody's perfect.
I need your decision on these vodkas. So, what do you say?